Hello, this is a tutorial on the basics of Keycloak, part one. In this tutorial, we are going to secure two browser applications and one RESTful web service with Keycloak. To do that, we will create a realm, some roles for that realm. We'll create a user, we'll assign some role mappings to that user, and then finally we will register and configure the applications that are being secured by this demonstration. The demo looks like this. There are two browser applications, a customer portal and a product portal. When you visit those websites, you'll receive a, a listing. In the customer portal, you'll receive a customer listing. In the product portal, you'll receive a product listing displayed in your browser. These applications uh, get their data from a back-end REST service, which they invoke in the background. This whole interaction is secured by the Keycloak server. So let's get to work and create this demonstration. Okay, the first thing we got to do is uh, bring up the Keycloak server. What I have done is I have downloaded the Keycloak appliance distribution. This distribution contains a fully functional Keycloak server. If we go to the Keycloak appliance disk directory, you'll see that there's a bunch of directories there. The Keycloak server lives under the Keycloak directory. The Keycloak server in the appliance distribution is based on the Wildfly application server. Wildfly is the community upstream of the JBoss project. To bring up the Keycloak server, you will go to the Keycloak bin directory and type standalone.sh. This brings up the server. For those of you familiar with JBoss, uh, this procedure probably looks very familiar to, to you. So now that we have brought up the server, uh, we will go to the Keycloak administration console. Going to localhost port 8080 slash auth will bring you to the Keycloak welcome page. From there you can look at Keycloak doc documentation, go to the Keycloak project, go to our mailing list. But what we want to do is go to the administration console. When you first go to the administration console, it's going to ask you for a login. Keycloak, when it boots up for the first time, will we'll create an a, a, a administration realm with a default user called admin. This admin user will have a default password of admin as well. So it's the same as the username. When we click login, Keycloak is going to ask you to reset the this default password. Click submit. You see that I've entered in the I haven't entered in matching passwords. So I'll re-enter it again. And this brings me to the Keycloak administration console. The first page that brings me to is to the Keycloak administration realm. The Keycloak administration realm is responsible for actually securing the Keycloak server. But what we want to do is we want to create our own special realm to manage security for our demo applications. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Add Realm button here. This brings us to the Add Realm page. There's two ways you can create realm, a new realm on the Keycloak server. You can import it from a JSON file, or you can create it directly using this um, link right here. We're going to create it directly. The name of our realm is going to be Demo, and we will click Save, which brings us to the, the new realm that we have created called Demo. Okay, now that uh, we have created the Demo realm, uh, we are going to create some roles for this realm. To do that, we go to the Roles link on the setting page of Demo, and you see that there are no roles available in the realm yet. We have to create them. So let's click the Add Role button here. The first role we're going to create is the User Role. And we're going to create a description for this role called User Privileges. I'm going to click Save. And I'm also going to create 
uh, an admin role as well. Click save, go back to roles and you see we have created the user and admin roles for our realm. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to create a user within our realm. To do that we'll click on the users tab here and we'll click the add user button. The username will be bburk at redhat.com and we also have to enable the user otherwise that user can't log in. We'll click save. Another thing I, I want to do here is uh, we're going to set the credentials for this user. We're going to set them within the administration console. So I'll click on the credentials link and specify a password. Password, password. And I'll click reset password. Yes, I want to reset the user's password. Okay, when you perform this operation within the administration console, um, the password is only changed temporarily. What's going to happen is when bburk at redhat.com logs in and specifies that temporary password, the Keycloak server is going to ask them to reset their password to whatever they want to do it. So now that we've set their credentials, next one we're going to do is um, we're going to assign roles to this particular user. To do that, we'll click on the role mappings link here. This brings us to the role mappings page. You see we have two roles available that we can assign to the user, the ones we just created. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign user as an assigned role. We do that by clicking the right arrow. As soon as I click on that right arrow, that user role is going to be assigned to bburk at redhat.com. So that's all we have to do for users. Um, next thing we're going to do is uh, define the applications that are going to be secured by this demo realm. To do that we'll go into the applications tab here. Our first application we're going to create is the customer portal. Customer portal. I will enable it. Another thing I have to specify here is the admin URL of this customer portal application. In this case the admin URL is going to be localhost port 8080 slash customer portal. And this is um, this is the root URL of the application. Click save here. To be able to initiate, initiate a login, each application has a, a client secret that it uses to authenticate with the Keycloak server to obtain an access token. This seeker is defined under the credentials link of the applications tab and you can see it displays it right here. Um, when you create an application this is generated by default. Um, you can actually change it by clicking the regenerate secret link here. The next thing we have to define here is the application scope. To do that we click on the scope link on the applications tab. An application scope is the set of roles that the application is allowed to request from the user. Right now there are no assigned roles to the customer portal scope. So when it gets a token from the Keycloak server, that token will have no permissions assigned to it. So what we got to do here is we got to say that the customer portal application is allowed to request both user and admin privileges from the user. And we assign those to the application. That's all we have to do for the customer portal. See here when I go back to the applications tab, um, the customer port the new customer portal application is listed. The next thing we have to do is we have to configure the other application that is within our demo and that is the product portal. Enter in product portal here. I'll enable it. 
specify the admin URL to be product portal. Hit save. See the credentials are already set up. And I'm going to assign the same scope as the customer portal has. Okay, that's it. We're done with the Keycloak administration console. Next thing we're going to do is actually configure the applications themselves so that we can boot them up and have them be secured by this demo realm. So this concludes part one. Um, to continue on and see how these applications are um, configured to be secured by the demo realm, please go to part two.